Let's just check in on the Kenyan market for the day. Just checking in how the equity market uh, closed for this Friday session. 4,821 points. You're looking at the market up by seven tenths of a percent. And just a quick check in on how the currency is faring in all of this. 83.55, a shilling strength coming through up around a fifth of a percent. Certainly uh, interesting signs, signals coming through from the Kenyan markets. We've had strong demand also coming through for a certain long dated bonds. Uh, so let's get into all of this. Crossing over to Nairobi, we've got our market watcher, Kenneth Mangeri, fixed income analyst at Stanlip Kenya, standing by. Kenneth, uh, thanks for joining us. So, so there we go. We've got a picture of shilling strength on this Friday. The equity market is up and certainly bonds have been stronger once again this week. Run us through your view of what's driving sentiment right now. Um, it's, it's, yes, it's true. Uh, it's been a very interesting week. We've seen rallies on both the equity and um, the bond market. I think more on the bond market. The equity market, what we've seen is more of a recovery driven by uh, price gains in the large, uh, large caps. Um, but for bond market, we've not seen such turnovers for quite some time, especially where um, more than 70% of the turnover is driven by um, bonds, uh, longer dated, long dated bonds with tenors of 10 years or more. So um, th this is quite interesting. Um, it also shows that um, market market risk appetite is growing uh, because what we're seeing is uh, more uh, more investors looking at uh, the long end of the yield curve, which mm. has actually been a no-go zone for I think probably the last nine to twelve months. Mm. So this is quite good. It shows market sentiment is positive. Um, we all they expect trades to move in a certain direction, which is uh, downwards. Uh, and uh, we expect to see the rates continue to come off, as we've seen with uh, with the prime rates over the last, um, I'd say, over the last four weeks, uh, actually six weeks, to be precise. Uh, we've seen the one-year T-bill come off all the way to about 12.1 this week. Mm -hmm. We've also seen the 91-day just um, just about to cross uh, below the double digit, just about to cross 10 percent. To mm -hmm. probably expect next week in mid touch levels of 9.9. .9. Um, probably the upper nines. Um, we, we, these are all, this is all positive news for the bond market and for interest rates. And um, I hope this actually filters through all the way down to the commercial lending rates. But we may see something more concrete once we have the MPC meeting, which is uh, um, slotted for later this month. I mean, that, of course, is, is one of the big issues right now. You know, when are commercial banks really going to respond to this low interest rate environment in the way that uh, regulators are calling for them to do that? Um, do, do you think that there's going to be increased pressure on commercial banks right now, given the fact that, I mean, as you say, rates continue or yields continue to come down across the board? Um, I think what, what uh, commercial banks would be looking for is a more definite trend. Uh, because basically, of course, we've seen our bond market can be quite volatile. Um, it can be down today and up the next week. So what they'll be looking at is a more tangible uh, trend. And going forward, I think they're also looking at, um, I think the budget estimates were, were out yesterday um, mm -hmm. with the government looking to borrow about 1.6 trillion. So um, it wasn't as uh, heavy or as, as expected. But um, still, I think going into the new financial year, banks will be looking really closely to see whether they'll be competing for funds um, with, with, with the government. Um, mm -hmm. But I think once the sovereign bond comes through and um, we're able to um, plug the deficit, plug the gap, basically, and um, also reduce on uh, the pressure on domestic borrowing, I think this will actually be quite an incentive for the commercial banks and will be a definite signal that trades are headed in one direction. Yeah. Also, um, this government has been talking a lot about um, control in on um, in uh, recurrent expenditure this is i mean this is a positive they're able to implement these austerity measures um i think we should see the rates conti co continue to come off which should give the banks a definite signal so you're also on, talking uh, about uh, down the lending rates so we're also talking about austerity in, in kenya now um kenneth uh, of course, the big buzzword on global markets. But when you talk about domestic borrowing requirements, 114.1 billion shillings is what they're looking to raise from the local market. I mean, what is your assessment of that number relative to expectations at the beginning of the year? And of course, the makeup between 30% from the T bill market and then the rest of that coming from uh, Treasury bonds. Um, I think it's actually very, very achievable. If you look at our borrowing target for this financial year, it went up uh, to all the way to about 167 billion. And um, we've been able to actually meet 
Um, okay, currently we're at about 90% uh, of this target, and uh, it could be covered in the next two, three or T bill and bond. I mean, the next two or three T bill auctions. But um, I mean, it's been it's been comfortable. CBK is comfortable, and despite this um, heavy borrowing, which is actually the highest we've ever had, we've seen the trades have still um, coming off. So 114 is actually um, I mean that's a lot less than than we had the previous um, financial than that actually in this financial year, and um, I think basically. I mean, it shouldn't be much of a problem. And also, you've mentioned T-bill and bonds. Um, th there's actually a debt program that began um, a couple of years ago, about 2008, mm -hmm. where they're looking to lengthen the maturity of uh, um, government debt, which is currently stands at about 5.3 uh, years. So they're looking to lengthen this. There's actually legislation. There's a paper they're working on that should be tabled in, um, in our parliament soon. Uh, to that will actually regulate this um, this tenors and um, the uh, the average yeah. um, length duration of our debt. So I think this will be taken off quite quite. I mean, it will be okay.